Steel Seal provides a simple permanent repair to blown head gaskets, warped heads and cracked engine blocks. To achieve the best results, always make sure you follow the pre-treatment steps. Make sure there's a suitable anti-freeze solution in the system and if any other repaired products have been introduced to the cooling system, make sure they're well flushed through with fresh water and the system's refilled before use. If there's any doubt, always refer to the steps on the back of the bottle. And to simply open the bonnet and just make sure the engine's cool before we start. The product introduced to the coolant system through either the radiator cap or the expansion bottle. Obviously on this vehicle, we can't get to the radiator cap, so we're gonna go in the coolant system through the expansion bottle itself. We're just going to remove the expansion bottle cap ready for the steel seal to be poured straight into the system. Let's simply remove the seal and pour the entire contents of the bottle directly into the expansion tank. Once the whole bottle has been introduced into the system, and get that expansion cap back on. At this point, obviously, you'd make sure you had enough coolant in the expansion tank ready to go. Once the steel seal's been introduced into the system, we obviously need to allow it to circulate and do its work. If the vehicle's roadworthy, start the engine. I'm gonna drive for around about five miles. Try to keep higher up the rev band, around about 60 miles per hour or so, for about just five miles, six miles, something like that, before we bring it back into the workshop and let the engine cool. If the car's not roadworthy, difference being, of course, we don't want to take it out on the road. So, in this case, we'll run the engine up to temperature for 30 minutes. Before we again kill the engine, let it cool down, ready for finishing steps. Make sure the vehicle's completely cooled back down again, and then just check the expansion tank or any level device you've got to make sure you've got the right amount of coolant in the system, topping up as necessary with a 50-50 water and antifreeze mix. And we're all finished, the car's ready to drive as normal.